Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Trek Online. I'm your host, Eli Tobias Eldrian, joined by Preston. Hello, Tubies. And Zenza Istalef, Starlight Violets. And apparently, uh, Commissar Oren is the accordion player. Uh, the guy in my chat, or the, the person in my chat, I should say. Uh, that, that's, that's one of my, one of my viewers right now. That's fun. All right, let's go talk to the Admiral. <laughs> Oh, nice. Uh, I love that. Glad to have you. Uh, I, I love that. I love it when people just show up out of nowhere and be like, oh, hey, I'm watching you. I know that. Okay, that sounds <laughs> creepy. <laughs> responsibility. I believe you're up to the task. If you feel that your ship is... It's not untrue, though. Mission, I can True. give you new orders. Stay safe. Oh, yep. Doing you strange things. Skills. Yep. That's what I'm doing. Click here to learn more. I have some new order. Uh, Ever hear sex. of Edrin Four? Jim Kirk got into a tussle with a Gorn that ah, the Gorn. barely lived to tell the tale. Both things. the Gorn and the Federation have teams there now. I'd like you to back our new people up in case the Gorn decide to engage in a little cowboy, cowboy diplomacy. diplomacy. Stay safe out there. All right. So now I think is the first time we can actually go. Yeah, we can beam up to our ships. Beam to the ship. Welcome to the solar system. All visitors to Earth space dock, space dock are required to fly close enough to the station for our tractor beams. So welcome to your ship. Our automated systems will notify when you are in position. Thank you. All right. Um, so press. To, no, Zenza's over there. I see her. I see you. Yes. Yes. I've got the uh, super ship. Oh, and there's a. Uh, there's Commissar Oren. I'm waiting for Preston. I think. Uh, are you beam to ship? Okay, I was about to say, uh, do you need help figuring? It's like I don't know where to go. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. Uh, he should warp in. There he is. Hey, All right, so it's basically in the same slot you saw before. Um, shoot, I need to fix that bug at some point. Uh, it's you depart system button instead of beam to ship. You can also hit exit system in the bottom right of your screens. Yeah. Yep. Exit system. Yeah, I don't know if this is a multiplayer mission or not, or if we have to do a solo, but we can at least fly there fly there together. If I can find you guys. Uh, oh, there's another. Happy high speed friends. Oh, there they are. All right. Follow me. We're going south southwest. Well, more southeast really. Should I enable the astrometrics? Uh you can. I like to. I like how it looks. Oh. Uh, let's see how far away you are in Indeed. Alright. One second, everyone. I have to reset my HUD. Uh it's it's being really buggy, so I had to reset it real quick. The only way to fix that uh, vibrating tray is to reset the HUD. So let me. There's Commissar. Yeah. And then. Uh, where's my. Uh oh. Where's my. Oh, that might be because. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm just adjusting because it bugged out. Okay, uh, we can also on the right side, on the right side of the mission, uh, there's the button that if you click it, it's plot a course for the mission starting location. So you can do that, and then we just auto travel. Oh, how are you faster than me? I don't know. Weird. Anyway. That just takes us there automatically. Yeah. We don't have to do anything. It's pretty good. Most of them are multiplayer. The ones that aren't usually state. So, okay. Fair enough. Thanks, Commissar Warren. I've never done tutorial with uh, multiplayer because I, I was playing with one friend back in the day. 
Um, and he didn't have enough character slots to start a new character when I first started. Um, so, yeah, it was my first tutorial multiplayer experience. It's pretty great. Yeah, and Comsar Orange right there as well. We got Preston Zenza. We're all here. Indeed. Caravanning. Yeah, I, honestly, this is part of what I love about the game, is that you can all fly together. Um, it's, it's just good. You know what they say, those who fly together... Cry, cry together. together. Uh, yes, uh, yes, cry together, yeah. Not die. So, Both so. good things, I'm sure. <laughs> right. Cry together. <laughs> there we go. I usually sacrifice a character I don't use to do new characters. Fair enough. I think he uh, had kept, he wanted to keep all his characters because of Dilithium. Uh, Dilithium. Main three is a Fed a Disco <laughs> Disco Cleon, nice, and a TOS and, and Dorian, nice. Um, mine is a Discovery Starfleet, uh, a Klingon, and a Romulan. Oh, the Romulan start. The Romulan intro, tutorial, and missions. Romulan. The Romulan is probably my favorite of all the starts. He's real good. He is real good. We're in the sub Yep, we're almost to the system. <clears throat> the Edrin Hall system. It's that bright star in front of us. Yeah. Just like the bright star above me. Uh, <laughs> oh. Yes. Are you a yeah, there you go. She finally found me. <laughs> yeah. And Preston is to our rear left. So it's like aft port. Yeah. Because port, like, port is like left, behind. right? Yeah. Yes, sir. All right, there's um, Edrin 4. Done. Begin. Oh, yes, it is a team map. Except. <laughs> I love it. Warp in. And we all warp in together. That's what I love about it. On screen. Welcome to Edrin 4. I'm Bridget McKinnon, CEO of the USS Zhang Ha. Glad you could join us. My science teams are on site and conducting initial surveys. Apparently, this place is quite the geological marvel. We're not the only ones present, though. Our friends from the Gorn hegemony aren't terribly chatty, but so far they're keeping the peace. How can we help, Captain? Well, I'm sure my people wouldn't mind an extra hand down there on the geological marvel. Feel free to join the party. I'll send a team to the surface then, talking out. My UI is just being really buggy for some reason. Let's see if this sticks to it. Well, I don't want to crash into the planet. <laughs> yeah, it's shifted. Captain, the Gorn are scanning us. They might not be talkative, but they are curious about us. Orders? I Maintain course. Caution. Steady she goes, Helm. The Gorn. They can be easily provoked. We have entered the orbit of Edwin Thor, Captain. room to bridge. The geological team, supplies, and gear. Are ready to beam down to Edrin 4. So very good. Stand by for transport. Lowering shields for transport. I'm detecting some unusual energy <laughs> signatures in orbital space near Edrin 4. Recommend we perform a deep scan of each. They could be hazardous. Agreed. Helm, bring us into sensor range. Uh, hang on. Don't, don't do the scan yet. Uh, the ever eccentric Captain Oron. His ships change more often than anything. <laughs> Anyways, I'll probably meet you guys. I'll probably meet you all in the 25th century on my TOS main recruit. I need to eventually get to the near universe bundle for the ISS registry and the pistols. Okay, fair enough. Well, we'll see you there then. Perform, perform orbital scan. Strange. For a moment there. What have you got? It's nothing, Captain. Thought I was picking up an impulse drive. False alarm. I'll recalibrate the sensors. Don't want to be jumping at shadows here. Very well, carry on. Captain, the science and engineering teams indicate that they have made it to the surface and made contact with the science team from the Zhang Ha. The rest of the landing party is standing by in transporter room one. They're ready to beam down when you are. Energize. Yeah, I was, I was listening to the cutscene earlier. Yeah, Captain Elrion and Captain Zenba. Oh, wait, oh, that's, uh... 
Oh, that's okay. That's who uh, who's away team we're ha we have with us. That's cool. And then yeah, Preston Zenza, and then my Tarsi, and then uh, Starlight's Tarsi. Except I love it. I love this. This is so good. Uh, I'm sorry. I like multiplayer games, especially when they work. <laughs> there you are. Better yes, working is is a good thing. I love that we all being down together. Engineers. Lovely planet we've got here. Charming even, if you're fond of heat and rocks. Still, it's not a complete wash. To say this place is mineral rich would be an understatement. What's your background, Scabber? My first assignment out of the academy was on Vulcan, working at a geothermal power site in Shikar. Great people, the Vulcans. Good at arguments, though all the logic comes off a little dry for my tastes. This is my first deep space assignment. And I'm damn glad for it. Hope we're going what to travel to more than desert city? worlds, though. Uh, Tellurian, I, I hear Ryza's nice this time of year. So I hear. Glad to have you aboard, Ensign. Alright, let's do this. You with me? My tricorder's showing some interesting mineral formations beyond this ridge. Wait, let's go. Let's do, some let's do it. This looks like a good place to start our scans. Scan mineral formation. Yes. Nice to see a report was spot on for once. The mineral deposits here are remarkably pure. This carbon deposit is unusually pure. Apparently, the Metrons don't prepare half rate planets. <laughs> Yeah, Whoever gets roll. the mineral rights to this planet will be pleased. Man, our very pleased indeed. Our away team is massive during this scroll. My readings indicate Look at all the people we have. Dilithium on this planet. I'll need to take <laughs> more scans to be sure. Normally, you're supposed to have five. Oh, okay. Oops, oh, sorry. Well, then I'll scan the last one. Yep. The variety of minerals in the topsoil alone is astounding. Oh my gosh, what the <laughs> Wow. Okay. Thanks, uh Scabber. Either my tricord is broken, or the soil here has an amazingly high concentration of sulfur. Ugh, my nose told me that long before your tricord it ends in Oof. Ah. Uh -oh. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> what the mortar fire? We'd better head back to oh. the mortars have closed off the pass! We can't reach the camp. Who would do this? Look, over there. It's the Gorn. <laughs> it's the original series Gorn. They even look like rubber suits. I love it. I love it so much. Wow. I'm gonna make quick work of these guys. Oh yeah. I, I've got a, a very powerful weapon that levels with me as I level. So, it is good. And we have lots of people on our team. And that. Captain, this is Lieutenant Newman. One of the Gorn ships just exploded. They're blaming us and attacking our forces on the surface and in orbit. Captain McKinnon tried to explain, but they aren't responding to any hails. Go to Red Alert, Lieutenant. Way ahead of you, Captain. We're defending ourselves, and our shields are up, which means we can't beam you back to the ship. Afraid you're on your own for now. Understood. We'll find a way back. Over there. There might be a way out of this infernal canyon further down the valley. Right. Focus on the head. Oh, wait. There's a. Yeah, there's a dude. Oh, hello. Oh, he got wrecked. All right, focus on the heavy rangers. They're the other ones that throw rocks at you. I don't Marvelous. think this is supposed to be eight by three people. It's fun this way. Indeed. It's destroying everything. Why is Tarsi getting so <laughs> close? What the heck? Uh, 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 bug. Oh. oh! Careful! Careful, darling. We need a way out of this canyon. And I'm thinking that big rock up there is it. With a little Federation ingenuity, we can topple this rock with a makeshift bomb. Once it's down, we can walk across it and get back to camp before the Gorn use the Zhang Ha's science team as target practice. 
And where will we find this bomb? And have you read Captain Kirk's report on this place? We have all the materials we need here to make <laughs> bombs. Be pretty like me. They won't be pretty like me, <laughs> but they'll get results. If you can collect the materials, Ensign Hunter and I will work out where to place the explosives. Let's do this. We're going to need behind us. Oh, I didn't realize we were still talking. Whoops. Heavy Ranger. <sighs> Get wrecked. Ooh, double grenaded after he died. Oof. <laughs> Alright, uh, you guys collect that. I'll start clearing ahead. Gun. Cool. Yeah, it's much smell. <laughs> All right, what do we got here in the meat? Oh, what is this? Bamboo. Bamboo. Bamboo, if you do, bamboo, if you don't. They just happen to have bamboo on this planet? Right. That's the original story uh, plot point for uh, an episode. Is oh, nice. Captain Kirk was trapped on a planet with a gorn or something. Let's take these materials over to the bottom of that huge rock. Huge rock. Right. Ensign Hunter and I will construct the bombs we need to bring down this rock across the canyon. That's the easy part. It's up to you to keep those angry Gorn off us while we work. Hope you're a good shot. Understood. Work quickly. Well, at least the Gorn are punctual. Keep them off us! Oh no! RC3 grenade, yes! Oh! Crush oh! The, oh, 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 the double the grenade! <laughs> that was so good! Alright, uh, heavy. Oh, there's two heavy rangers coming. Careful with that! Potassium nitrate can react explosively with these materials! Oh, we got a rock coming. Uh. Ah, I keep auto targeting the wrong one. Now mix it oh, there we go. Oh, nice. Carefully. Oop, off to the I'd right. Not get blown to pieces today. If oh, hello. You don't mind. Ah, I put on a ranger. Whoops. Yeah, heavy rock coming. We're just about done. Have to fire up. Yeah. <laughs> I did warn you. <laughs> done. Now okay. let's get these bombs in place. All right. Uh, can we pick them up? Okay, dokey. Game. Well, oh, okay. now that Ensign Hunter and I did the hard work. It's time for Did you, you to pull your weight around here. <laughs> you need to place these charges uh, under the rock. Spread them out, though not too far. To I'm yeah. sure you can figure out an optimal placement. Easy. Alright, if you guys want to place them, you can. I've done it so many times. I'll just cover us. Not that anyone's going to attack us, but... Placing. The bombs are primed to blow. We should move to a safe distance. Run away! Run away! Wow, very safe distance. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to be Fire trapped by a rock or brush. <laughs> Absolutely. We should be able to climb that rock just fine. Steep, but a minor obstacle for us nature conquerors. So just uh, watch your step. The text does not match the speech. Anyway, think uh -huh. your victory over Mother Nature will hold, Ensign. Ha! Huh. Back in the academy, they said that in the battle, um, of the scientists nature, are all right. Man loses. The Gorn aren't well, known for their mercy. Take that nature. We'll do. Let's move out. Yeah, that audio was bugged out. <clears throat> I pretty heavily bugged out. <laughs> okay. It's either old or new audio, or old or new text, or a mixture of both. <laughs> we got like seven people on this away scene. I love it. This is so good. Looks like some Gorn came through here. We better hurry. Prepare for a fight. There's I'm always prepared. All right, I'm gonna take out the heavy ranger on the left. 
Oof, get knocked over, bud. <laughs> he got double knocked over. All oh, those grenades! Oh my gosh, they are just getting destroyed. <laughs> that was awesome. All right. Thank you. Things were looking pretty grim there for a moment. The Gorn. They kept saying the deaths of their people would be avenged, but we didn't do anything. I haven't fired a phaser since the Academy. You're safe now, Doctor. Join your people on the shuttle and head back to Zong Khan. Glad you're in this right. place, uh, It's clear up here for the right. moment. It's Transporters it's are standing it's by. Right. Anyway, not now, because I need to end the episode. Oh, no, decline. Stop it. Why, why are you hitting yes? Press some... Oh, I declined. No. Okay, I, I heard someone beaming out. Anyway, we got to end the episode here. Thank you all for joining us. I've been Eli Isaac. No, Eli Tobias Elrian. I forgot I named another character Isaac. Eli Tobias Elrian joined by Preston. Yes, that's my full name. <laughs> Indeed. And Zenza Isteleth, played by Starlight Violence. Hey. Don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you enjoyed any dimension of this episode. It really does help support the channel, and we do appreciate the support. Goodbye. May the force be with you. Wrong franchise. <laughs>